Is this thing on? Good. I got some big info, guys. So I saw these reports. There's a name. There's actually a name surrounding this Negloland project. I think it's very clear that this is water-based. But there's a name surrounding it. This, this mythology. Something called the Krampus. Now, I personally don't know anything about this Krampus character, but I sent all the information to Coaster Chow. He can deliver it to you. There's, like usual, there's going to be no, you know, link between me and him. No information as to where this came from. So he's out of the water. I'm out of the water. We can both live happy lives. I can live underground. He can still do this information uh, on you guys. And, you know, I really, I really feel like we've got somewhere close with this project. I gotta go. You got all the information. He'll deliver it to you. Stay safe. You've seen the new rules on this COVID-19. You better stay distant and you better stay safe. No one else dies. Not on my watch. Not on this country's watch. Stay safe. Hello there guys, my name is Kurt Shardongster Bomb, but built for theme park news, and as you just heard there from Mr. Unnamed, we have some more information on the brand new coaster project at Negloland in France for 2021. Now, we haven't done an update from this in a good few weeks, and Mr. Unnamed has gone walkabout somewhere over the last few weeks. I'm probably suggesting he's probably staying indoors and trying to keep himself safe from COVID, but you know, he's finally had the chance to finally go out and, you know, stay distant, obviously, from people. Obviously, you guys need to, you know, realistically stick to the rules as well. Whatever country you're in, whatever rules have been put in, stay socially distant, save lives. You know, let's let's fight this COVID together, guys. And, um, you know, Mr. Unnamed finally got to, you know, go undercover again with this project. And he's got some information and we've got to deliver that information. So, there's a possible name that was trademarked back in May. And we're going to deliver that information to you guys, talk about the, the history of this name, what's the mythology behind this name through a National Geographic news article, which I've got, so I've done my research on this, and uh, share with you my thoughts on what the theme for this could be, especially with the type of coaster it is, because we know from the recent developments over the last couple of weeks, we know with the, the, the trough that's been created, the trenches that are being created in terms of track layout potentially, uh, we know on the construction site, and from the track that's been delivered to the site, en route to the site, we know it's a new kind of style track for a Mac water coaster. We're looking at something like Poseidon, uh, Atlantica Super Splash, that kind of coaster, but a new style of track design kind of thing. So I'm going to talk to you about the trademark name. I'm going to talk to you about the folklore of the name and share with you my thoughts on it, because I think it's a very weird choice, but potentially, creatively, it is very exciting. So, before we get started, guys, make sure you go check out our early news update after this video uh, from Legoland Belgium, this brand new theme park. Uh, make sure you like the channel, like the video if you loved it. Like the channel as well, of course. But, like the video if you loved it. Make sure you comment down below. I mean, I'd love to do more updates on this and get, you know, Mr. Unnamed, our little secret agent, uh, out there again and try and get some more information from the site. Uh, make sure you subscribe to the channel if you want more updates. Make sure you... Um, hit, the, hit the notification bell as well so you never miss any more thrilling YouTube content. Uh, make sure you go and check the description bar where you can find where you can find links to my social media. You can find my Instagram, my Snapchat, my Twitter, my TikTok. You know, I've started learning a bit more on that now. And um, you can also check out my second channel for football and basketball journalism. Since the season's starting in football, we're going to be uploading a lot more on there as well. And Obviously, with basketball coming in about a month or two, we're going to be doing some, you know, videos for there. So, uh, with British basketball coming back, so make sure you stay tuned for loads of videos on there. And uh, also, guys, sending your merchandise because in a few days' time, we're going to be doing a merch video uh, where you can share your merchandise. And also, I'm going to share five pieces of merchandise myself. Uh, so you can follow the social media links in the description down below where you can send in your merchandise for that. And for now, guys, let's get into talking about the potential name for this brand new water coaster at Negloland in France. So, as reported on Coaster World, um, a French forum, um, 
Back in May 2020, Negloland in France trademarked the name Krampus Expedition. Potentially the name for this brand new Matt Watercoaster. I think it's very, very clear, like all but confirmed, it is going to be a Matt Watercoaster now. Uh, but we've got some information in terms of the folklore behind the name Krampus. Now, this is all from National Ge Geographic, so strap yourselves in because I'm going to go all history documentary on you right now. Krampus's name is derived from the German word Krampen, meaning claw, and is said to be the son of hell in Norse mythology. The legendary beast also shares characteristics with other scary, demonic creatures in Greek mythology, including satires and forts. The legend is part of a centuries-old Christmas tradition in Germany, where Christmas celebrations begin in early December. Krampus was created as a counterpart to the kindly Saint Nicholas, who rewarded children with sweets. Krampus, in contrast, would swat wicked children, stuff them in a sack and take them away to his lair. The legend is part of a centuries-old Christmas tradition in Germany. Now, according to folklore, Krampus purposely showed up in towns the night of December 5th, known as Krampusnacht or Krampus Night. The next day, December the 6th, is Nikolostag or St. Nicholas Day, where children look outside their door to see if the shoe or boots they'd left out the night before contains either presents, a reward for good behaviour, or a rod for bad behaviour. A more modern take on the tradition in Austria, Germany, Hungary, Slovenia and the Czech Republic involved drunken men dressed as devils who would take over the streets for a Krampus Lauf, a Krampus run of sorts, where people are chased through the streets by the devils. So there we go. Now looking at the folklore, which again I got from National Geographic, and looking at the little information about Coastal, uh, Coastal World Forum, sorry, uh, based in France, I can see why a Krampus theme could be very exciting because I think the whole Krampus expedition name, if it is going to be the water coaster name, I think that we can definitely find some similarities in it. Now a lot of people are like, you know, is there going to be some like snow themed boats or snow themed things going on? Um, and first of all, before I talk about my theory on what the story could be for the ride, I am going to say very quickly, you know, props to Negloland for potentially going with this theme because it's very original. It's something we've ne we've never seen like a cramp a permanent Krampus themed attraction. We've seen like you know horror attractions based on Krampus and things like that uh, with Universal, but we haven't seen a permanent ride or attraction, or I haven't seen a permanent ride or attraction themed to the Krampus story or themed something like the Krampus. Now my theory on the story of this ride is. Krampus Expedition, if that is the name, um, is basically the water coaster going through the Krampus Lair, or the Krampus Lair is the station for the ride, and it's like escaping the lair of the Krampus, like you're the pe you and the people in the boat are the child, the children, escaping from the Krampus. I think that's kind of what I'm looking at with this. Um, and I expect they may potentially do some, I mean, there's a real potential here to do some exceptional theming. And this could be one of the underrated coasters of 2021. I definitely think this could be underrated. And the fact this is probably the most expensive project in park history. What we're looking at here is potentially a very exciting project. And I can see why it's potentially the most expensive project in park history. Because the theming potential and the creative, you know, possibilities are exceptional with this particular theme, the name, and the potential story with this attraction. That, and to be fair, I could be wrong. I could be going with this a completely different route, but I definitely think this is escaping from the Krampus lair. The lair is the station. You're the children in the boat escaping through like an underwater passageway. And that's where the, the story of the ride comes in and differs from the original folklore. Because the folklore is all about this Krampus. You know, bad children get stuffed in a sack and taken to the lair. Where the ride story differs from the folklore is the ride story expands from the... Not really differs, but it expands from the folklore into like a little, um, you know, a, a non-fictional story where... You know, the children are, are seen, you know, on a boat in an underground passageway. Now, whether that means a dark ride section at the end of the ride after the final splash. So maybe you go into a building and you get like that extra finale, like a special effects finale with the Krampus capturing you again. And you're back in the lair at the end of the ride. 
you know, maybe that's the case. Maybe that could be the potential case, or maybe this whole, you know, theme of the ride. I mean, another route I could take from this is maybe um, there's someone sort of on screens, like in a pre-show element, or you know, into the ride station, and you know, this person's trying to get people to escape the Krampus left through this passageway. Um, and maybe they exit the ride at one end and then the boats come back up ready to, for the next riders to escape the Krampus lair. So you exit and you escape the lair and then the boats come back up for the next rider to escape the lair. Maybe that's what I'm looking at with this. So, there's a, I mean, there's many different ways they could go with this. There's plenty of different things they could do with this. Um, the name, Krampus Expedition, potentially very exciting. I think it's a very original name. I think it's a fantastic name. The story, the theme, very original, very creative. Possibilities are absolutely endless with this in terms of special effects, theming, queue line experience, entrance, exit, everything about this ride experience. The potential is endless for creativity. So... I think what we're looking at here is a really good looking project and you know congrats to Mr Unnamed Secret Agent for delivering all this information because we've got some exciting stuff talking about here so you know fair play to that agent guy for giving us the information again and uh, you know this is really exciting stuff guys you know Krampus Expedition at Neglo Land for 2021 it just fits together doesn't it it's not confirmed yet but I think you can put two and two together and I think it sounds amazing uh, especially with the name, Krampus Expedition. It sounds like a Mack water coaster at Niglo Land in France for 2021. You could put two and two together here. Um, so I think we're going off the basis of, even though it's not confirmed, I personally think it's probably 90% likely the ride is going to be called Krampus Expedition. Of course, when it's officially announced, then I will change the playlist name to Krampus Expedition dash Niglo Land in brackets 2021. Uh, but for now, at least, it'll stay unknown. You know, we don't want to give to anything away too much. And, um, you know, hopefully once the ride is officially announced, then I'll change the name of the playlist for this ride. Speaking of the name of this playlist, you can check out the playlist that I've linked at the end of the video. We can check out all the updates we've done so far on this project. And only a few updates. Not, not the massive playlist in the world, but not the biggest one in the world. But hopefully it won't be short for long because we want to do some construction updates. So if you guys that are French and watching this video... I've got some construction updates. Use the social media links in the description down below where you can send them in. Uh, give you credit, of course. Give you a shout out. And uh, we'll be able to keep following the construction of this particular ride before we get track on site. So, thank you very much, guys, for watching this video from the potentially named Krampus Expedition at Neglo Land, the brand new Mac water coaster. Brand new style of track design, uh, which is very exciting indeed. Uh, maybe some new elements on this ride, which is, again, very exciting. And uh, for now, guys, make sure you like the video if you loved it. Comment down below your thoughts and feelings. Get your video suggestions in as well as your shout-outs. All will be recorded down. Make sure you get your um, subscriptions in. Make sure you keep subscribing. We're getting closer and closer to 2,000 subscribers on the channel now. Uh, make sure you also subscribe to the second channel for football and basketball journalism. Links in the description down below for that, along with my Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter, and TikTok. And for now, guys, my name is Coach Shell, Dongster Born, but built for Theme Park News. Keep living the coast life, and I'll see you guys in the next video very, very soon. Take care, guys. Have an awesome day.